I'm Siobhan and I'm going to be doing Parts of the Boat. So to start off, I've drawn a pico up for us just so you can envision the boat in your head. So this bit, hull. I hope everyone knows what this is. The rudder. Then here to steer the rudder, we have the tiller. And then the bit you hold in your hand, the tiller extension. Our other basic control, our main sheet to pull in our sail. And then of course we have our sail and we'll go into parts and sail earlier, later. And then here we have our boom, which holds out our sail. And then over here, our mast, which holds up our sail. And then some ropes attached to our sail or our boom. Here we have our kicker. And that pulls our sail in nice and tight, especially for windy days. And then here we have our dagger board. Stops us from drifting. So great for steering. And then up the front here, this rope, this is the painter. So if you ever hear an instructor ask you to hand them their painter, if they want to tow you or tie you onto something, you'll know that's what that is. Okay, now just a little extra note for our double hanger boats. I think our vibes and our quests, there's a few differences going on. So I've added them in here in blue. So first of all, we obviously have a second sail. This is our jib. Now we also have our jib sheets, our ropes to control the jib over here. And then the cleats through which you secure the jib here, the jib cleats. Now here we have some differences. So this wire running from the top of the mast of the boat to the bow of the boat. This keeps our mast upright and pull it forward. This is our forestay. And then over here, we have another wire running from the top of the mast to the side of the boat and one on the other side. And these are called our shrouds. Then for hoisting the sail on um, our double handers, we have because on our picos they come wrapped and toppers. So for hoisting our sail, we have a rope running from the mast to the top of the mast to the bottom. That's our main halyard. And then we also have one to hoist our jib. So this one here is our jib halyard. Now, a rope over here for pulling the sail down. We don't have them on our single handers, they're just on our double handers. Just gives you more sail control. This is the down hole. And a rope which we do have on our single handers, but I forgot to mention earlier, that pulls our sail out to the end of the boom. This rope running along the boom here is our out hole. And now also on double handers, we have a difference with our dagger board. So dagger boards are pulled in and out of the water, up and down, but on our double handers, these centre boards stay on the boat and, and are fixed around a turning point. So they, you pull them up and pull them down, like in and out of the water, but they don't completely remove from the boat. So we'll go look at a different view of our boat now. Okay, so now we're looking at our boat from the bird's eye view. So to start off with, there's two sides to our boat. The right side is called our starboard side, and it's normally associated with the color green, but I don't have green, so we'll just pretend that's green. And then our left side is our port side, and that's associated with the color red. So an easy to way to remember it is like port, wine, red wine. That's a good way. And now, also, the front of our boat, up the top here, this is called the bow. And then the back of our boat, this whole area here, is the stern. And I'll just write in starboard. And port. 
And on our boat as well, we have raised sections along the side in the hull where it's good to sit. So these are called gunnels. And then on our double handers, just above where our main sheet will be rigged, there's a raised section running across the middle of the boat where you, the crew can often sit, and that's called the thwart. At the back here, this block where the rudder attaches onto is called the transom. And then over here as well, we have our bung. And make sure you screw that in before you go sailing unless you want your whole boat to be filled with water. Okay, now we have the parts of our sail. So, to start off with, the sail has three corners. This top corner at the top of the mast is called the head. That's pretty easy to remember. This bit in nearest by the mast and the boom, that's the tack. And the corner at the end of the boom, that's the clue. A sail also has three sides. So here we have the foot. Here we have the luff. And over here we have the lunch. Now you'll notice a sail isn't a perfect triangle. The leech curves out a little bit. So the actual straight line, that's not really there, but that the, a real triangle would follow, that's the roach line. So then this area in here, in between the roach line and the leech, is called the roach. And to hold this area out, there's normally battens, like hard sticks, in periodically along there to just hold it out so we can catch as much wind as possible. And then this area in the middle of the sail, this is the belly. Now we've got lots of different sail controls. So we've got our kicker down here, our out hole over here, running along the boom, and our down hole here. And the tighter you pull those in, the more you minimize the belly in your sail. So if you're minimizing the belly there, and um, you'll catch less wind. So that's really great to know on super windy days if you wanna keep it as tight as possible. But on light wind days, you can let these out just a tiny bit, give yourself a bigger belly, and you'll be able to catch more wind. So I hope this video has been informative and you learned something new.